Welcome back to Snoo and Da Live. Hey there, fella. He's Snoo. And he's somebody else that isn't Snoo. Correct, as far as I know. I mean, we'll never know. We're very close, though, so, you know, I can't be sure. <laughs> We're so. practically the same age. Yep. So let me go ahead and tag this right out of the gate. This is going to be Snoo playing Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. Not insane. Because that would be grammatically correct. Right. It's insane, <laughs> which I assume is even worse. It just means that things are going to happen. They're going to be insane. Things will happen that will be insane. All right. I'm down. Strap in with your strap on because shit's about to get real. Wow. That escalated quickly. <laughs> anyway, I've never seen this game before, so I will be an interested spectator. This is, this is very fun. Uh, no one knows this if they watch the stream, but I am a very big Crash Bandicoot fan. I didn't even know that. I've never talked about it. Yeah. I've never really said anything, but I love Crash. It's, it's Snoo's deepest secret. It's, yeah. If you went into the crevices of my mind to the deepest, darkest part, you would find Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, that's accurate. That's where my priorities lie. <laughs> that's what Snooze Therapist <clears throat> told us. So It must be true. Yep. Okay. So, old Mr. Snoo, he, he's uh, hooking up the... The, uh, the dealio. Nintendo Switch, I believe it's pronounced. <laughs> No, it's the Nintendo bitch. Oh, okay. Well, there. Uh, nah, I stand corrected. <laughs> so, uh, MK8 Deluxe. MK8 Deluxe. That's fun. It does look good on the screen. Like th That's probably the best looking squid Switch game that there is. That's the highest bar. But this game is a close second. Well, I, I look forward to it. Yeah. So let's see. Do we have um, Reddit? I think so. Kate, I, I think she told me that there was going to be a new one, but that could be me misremembering things. Is there it this new in Uh, No. That's one from more than a year ago. Oh, all right. <clears throat> oh. Smashing blast from the past. Yeah, it's smashing and a blast. It's about to get sexy, y'all. Look at that plank of wood. It's a pretty sexy plank of wood. <laughs> I can't wait to use it as a flashlight and get all the splinters in the world. <laughs> Look, just just lock your bedroom door when you want to experiment. <laughs> Thanks for giving me permission. You're welcome. You're welcome, son. In the meantime, Kate says howdy, y'all. Howdy, y'all, Kate. Yeah. We're playing Crash and talking about flashlights. People, people love stories of about Snoo doing that. The juxtaposition is amazing. <laughs> it was beautiful. Oh, I keep, I always forget. Howdy, Kate. How are you? When I play one of these, is that I have to go onto the different account to well, have a different save file. Okay. So that, yes. That seems doable. That's, yeah. I, I don't know if I can do that. It seems too hard. But also, uh, since Kate is here, uh, this is the test, like the after test celebration stream kind of thing. Oh, for sure. Yes. Yeah. Snoo had a, a serious round of standardized testing today for his, his uh, academic progress. And so he had uh, two long tests, one in the morning and one in the afternoon. Or... Both having two parts, yeah. And the first one was like three hours. It, I had to use the whole time. And how long was that time? Three hours. Okay. Yeah. That's the, could have just said that, but <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, yep. And then the second one though, we'll see the first one was math. And so he took the whole three hours, which is a wise move. Even if you feel like you've nailed it Yeah. to just go back and check your work. Uh, but the second section was history and multiple choice. Completely. So I can see why Snoo knocked that one out in a hurry. How, each, how long did you spend on that one? Each part took 20 minutes and there were two parts. Oh, so 40 minutes. Yes. Okay. Do the math. 
That's, yeah. th again, you could have just directly answered my question. <laughs> oh, why would I do that? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it's, that's insane. We're, we're just trying to add filler material to extend the runtime. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. everything I ask Snoo, he's going to not directly answer the question until then I prompt him to do so, and then, he, then he'll be like, yes. <laughs> so... <laughs> So what are we looking at here, Snoop? This is a pre-rendered cutscene of Crash Bandicoot's origin, which is... Uh, oh, origin stories are tight. <laughs> this was originally from the PS1, uh, and the cutscene looked like shit on there, but now this almost looks like it's in 1440p or somewhere close. Okay, so what is the mad scientist doing to Crash? Uh, this guy's trying to brainwash him into being one of his minions. Oh, okay. To, like, take over the world and I stuff. assume that won't work. No, it will not. Okay. So anyway, though, yeah, um, Snoo got donuts after he was done with uh, all the testing. Yeah, yeah, we got Dunkin' Donuts. It was just a little celebration that he was finished. It was, yeah. <clears throat> Meantime, we got some activity in chat again. Uh, Kate says, Kate is extremely average. Congrats to Snoo for snooing it. And Dude says, crap not first. Crap is not first. You're right. See, I'm glad Dooge is here. Yeah. Good to see you, Dooge. I wish I could edit the chat to make it appear like Dooge was first, though. You can. Because I know Kate wouldn't mind. <laughs> <laughs> Although she is very competitive about being first, uh, there have only been a few uh, first-related stabbings from Kate. <laughs> only a few. <laughs> yeah, you know. This is why she doesn't have much competition for being first anymore. She's good at controlling her murderous rage. She has ruthlessly eliminated any competition besides Dooge, and I feel like he's just intimidated, so she, he shows up five minutes later. He's just waiting for the <laughs> opportunity that she has to kill him. He waits until Kate gives him permission to post. Permission? <laughs> yes. May, may I stab you, sir? Yes, go ahead. <laughs> So anyway, uh, what you up to, dude? Yeah, what's going on? I haven't talked to you probably since we last streamed. And we haven't had a Levi report in quite some time. Is he sleeping? Or having some Levi food, or, you know, the regular Levi stuff. Raiding the refrigerator for ice. <laughs> Which she knows is in there, despite not having opposable thumbs. Yeah, opposable thumbs don't really factor into knowing things. <laughs> so... That, that checks out. <laughs> you gotta open the freezer. God damn. You know that Alex, the Coors Light dog, could get you a beer from the fridge. He didn't yeah. have opposable thumbs. Well, what did he do? He he uh his paw or his nose or something. I don't know. I I don't even know how that works, but I totally agree with you. We could pull up an old Coors Light commercial uh, on stream if we want to, because like <laughs> Coors Light isn't going to object to us promoting their products. Maybe they will. Maybe <coughs> they'll be like, "Hey, fuck you! You're using an old commercial." Right. Because everyone tunes in for <laughs> our Coors Light related promotional materials. Your beer is the fucking same. <laughs> It did not change in 20 years. Let's see here. Dude says he's standing at his desk, and Dingo is, in fact, napping on the couch. And, uh, attaboy, Dingo. And, and Dude says Dingo can carry a beer for a second. Yeah, I feel like he has that ability. But just, like, Levi being... <sighs> Levi being Levi... I don't think it's an inability to continue carrying the beer. I just assume he would get distracted by something. <laughs> like a jiggling geese. Just literally anything. <laughs> and he would go chase something. Ice? Bark at like a, a table or, you know, <laughs> I don't know. ice crawled <laughs> eggs? <laughs> so that he might abandon the beer. But I don't think he lacks the ability to continue to carry a beer. No, yeah. I, 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 think, I think Dingo has it in him. Yeah. He's, he's a good boy. Dingo is the best boy. Yeah. Snoo and I were just talking uh, before we started the stream here and, and checking the weather forecast, the 10-day forecast, to see if we could find an appropriate day for a, a fire pit, and unfortunately not so far. But damn it, we are getting there. 
we're probably shooting for next week. Yeah, hopefully. But we are on the cusp so, of, of fire pit season. We're getting close. Just, you know, fuck April for being April for some reason. I don't know why Snoo is disparaging the character April Curtis. <laughs> Night Rider. From Knight Rider season two only. <laughs> When she replaced Bonnie. Which he had to look up because April is such a terrible character. She's not. They just made her up to look like a complete trollop. And but it, that divulged any amount of personality she could have had. It's a little embarrassing. I mean, she could have been played by a mannequin, honestly, or, <laughs> or like one of those Japanese sex dolls. I, I don't know. It, it was a lot. But... Uh, yeah, anyway, she she jumped in for season two after season one, and Bonnie Was had... never seen again. Yeah, Bonnie had seasons one, three, and four, so good for her. You know, the best season, except... I was about to say the best seasons, but then I remembered yesterday's episode. Which was phenomenal. Oh, yesterday's episode. If you have a Netflix account, oh my god, you need to watch that episode right now. It was uh, season two, episode nine. I think it was Soul Survivor. Yes, Soul Survivor. Except it was spelled like like having a soul. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the, my description at the time we were watching it is is that basically it was like they got eight or ten different writers who had never spoken to one another <laughs> to each write like five or six minutes of the episode and then hand it off to the next one. Because so it was beautiful. Yeah, I mean, there were just like a dozen unrelated plots all crammed into one story. It was it was fantastic. <laughs> it is the best Knight Rider episode I've seen up to this point. Yeah, and again, that's another one I would love if we could do that on stream, because we had a ton of fun making fun of it. Totally, yeah. Like, it, it, I don't even know how that works, but if there was one thing, one copyrighted piece of material that I would want to show on Snoo and Dot, it would be that. Yeah. That, that is so far my all-time favorite. Even though I thought going into us watching as a family the Knight Rider series, uh, I thought the ones I would like best were the ones with Michael Knight's evil twin, Kit's evil twin, <laughs> Kit's other evil twin, <laughs> who, who, who was a, a semi-truck. I mean, those are, those are the ones that stick out in my mind from my childhood. But as an adult, I appreciated uh, Soul Survivor more than those. I, I think just because at the time, there wasn't as much comedic value. I just, I didn't understand the, the craft of storytelling as much and, and just various other things that are, are different from an adult perspective. Because when that episode aired, you were like 13 or 14? Yep, probably 13. Yeah. So younger than Snoo is now. I know, right? Oh my god, we had a, co a comment from Kate, but also Kenny is Kenny, here. Kenny, dude. And I'm going to put on my glasses and see if I can figure out what that emoji is. It's just a hi. Oh, hi, Kenny. <laughs> I will be the emoji decipherer because I'm barely better at cool, that. Cool, then I, I don't have to put my glasses on. I can just be comfortable. That's nice. <laughs> Yet he still understands that it's impossible for us to figure them out. Hooray. We got, we got Kate and Dooge and Kenny here. Yeah. This has all the makings. Welcome, guys. Yeah, good to see you. And Ken oh, you, uh, did you get NSN Trilogy for Switch or PS4? Uh, what d K uh, Snoo is responding to yeah, I, yeah. Is, is Kenny's uh, remark that he played this when it came out. Wait, do you mean the original game or the NSN Trilogy? Oh, yeah, this man. is the compilation NSN Trilogy. Yeah, for Switch. I bought this. And but, I was very happy. But either way, this is the same game, though. Is it's, it? Yeah. Okay. It just looks 1080p and 4K and stuff. Did they, like, remaster it? or? Yeah, completely. Okay. Uh, oh, he had the original version. Yeah, Kenny had the original on the PlayStation Uno. I tried to get that working. I don't, I don't think I've ever talked about uh, when I got that PlayStation for either my birthday or Christmas, the original. Mm -hmm. And it just didn't fucking work. <laughs> well, wasn't that the one we got from Aaron or something? No, that was like an eBay listing. Oh, okay. It was something diff completely different. If we got it from Aaron, I probably would have been able to test it beforehand. That's true. But regardless, it just wouldn't read any of the discs we had, and I traded it to get more Switch games. But did we ever actually... Oh, you just went to your doom. 
<laughs> did, I'm not great at this game. Did we ever actually determine, though, whether it was the particular discs or the system that was the problem? I believe it was the disc. Because the guy, we took it to the exchange and... They he, tested the disc. He wasn't sure. But he tested the disc and also looked at it and thought it was super scratched. And I was just like, I thought that's what they were supposed to look like. <laughs> Yeah, they ship, <laughs> they ship CDs super scratched. No, but it didn't look super scratched. I've looked at it in multiple lightings, and it looked fine. Anyway, we never did, as far as I recall, find out for sure what the issue was. But yeah, he just traded it for something else, and that worked. So yeah, that's cool. And if he, I ever get the opportunity to get the original PlayStation again, I probably will. All right, I got to catch up with chat. Dude, yeah. dude says uh, he also owned the original. Was that on PS One? And uh, like several posts ago, let me catch up with Kate, who says, I'm making tea right now, and just no thumbs are where the brain is stored. Kind of low-key tonight, but the nostalgia from Crash is wonderful. She also had this back in the 90s, so everyone in chat right now yeah. has PS1. Did she have the original, and if so, on what platform? Probably PS1. Meantime, Snoo confirms, or Dooge confirms, that uh, his was on the PS1. That's awesome. Well, I mean, the original PS1 sold 100 million units, so I guess I'm not surprised. I had one. I did not have this game, but I had a PS1. This is one of the few times where everyone in chat has owned the exact same system at some point in their lives. Yep. That's not a given. I tapped out after uh, PS2, though. I had PS1 and PS2, and... PS3 was expensive and sucked shit anyway. Yeah, I just never got around to it. I think I was sort of on a hiatus from gaming uh, at that particular time. Yeah. So. Wow. Oh, so much abuse of, <laughs> of Crash. Yeah, if you miss boxes, they just go on his head. <laughs> wow. That's not necessary. Uh, Kate says, I didn't have it, but my best friend at the time did. So I played the hell out of it. Yeah, you that's, got a new viewer. That's kind of like uh, when I had my PS1 and I lived with three roommates and we all just played that thing to death. That was when I played Resident Evil. One of them. I don't remember which one. You guys talked about taking turns with that, right? We did. We played that game around the clock for an entire weekend until we beat it. Literally in shifts. <laughs> like to, Because we had friends involved too. So it was like you know, one to two to three people at a time. 24 hours a day for, you know, 72 hours kind of thing. Um, let's see here. Uh, Peter Matthews 007, 007 says, oh, yeah. greetings from Wisconsin. Well, greetings from Ohio. Yeah, we're, we're in a state too. Thanks for joining. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you're not the only one who <laughs> lives, lives, lives in a state. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say Ohio cheese is better than Wisconsin. <laughs> so suck on that. <laughs> I, don't know. I try to be as hostile as possible to new viewers. We have the better exported motor oil. <laughs> it helps with viewer retention. How about that? I'm, I'm carving a cheese sculpture right now on stream. <laughs> Isn't it like those butter sculptures people make out of cows? Yeah. Wait, no, I said that wrong. That's the, well, yeah, no, out of milk. <laughs> And yeah. that turns into butter and then a sculpture, yeah. Cows are usually one that they make. Yeah, but actually that's quite prevalent here in Ohio as well. Like, you cannot find a state fair that does not have a butter sculpture. Butter, better, batter. Yeah, or a, even a local community fair. Uh, let's see here. Dude says, PS2 was my last console till Switch. Wow, amazing. Was that your last actual console before you went full in with PC stuff? I am thinking, and I'm going to say, yeah, PS2 is the last console I owned, just like Dude. Wow. I guess that's why you guys are friends. The only reason <laughs> why I tolerate Dude. <laughs> <laughs> and Kenny had gre greeted... Uh, I have a five PlayStation. <laughs> had greeted old Peter Matthew 007, and uh, Peter... Or I'm just going to call you 007, because that sounds way cooler. Yeah, you're fucking James Bond. What's cooler than that? Uh, he responded with the letter M. For some reason. So. Take that as you will. Kenny has like a... A cheese, that stinky cheese. Oh, I thought it was a... Because we're talking about cheese. I thought that was a turd on fire. 
So I'm glad you st- I'm glad you stepped in there. I mean, maybe it is. <laughs> it could be. I'm we going. We don't know. Yeah, sculpted cheese works. <laughs> and uh, 007 has all five PlayStations. Wow, wow, wow. That's pretty lucky. That's pretty awesome. Good, I, good for you. That seems like a thing you would one day have. I definitely... Like, I have a baseline of wanting at least one console from every main big manufacturer. Yeah. Well, was that a girl bandicoot? Yes. I just caught that, was, that out of the corner of my eye there. Yeah, her name is Tana, and she's supposed to be sexy. What if do you're you into mean, furries... What do you mean, supposed to be? <laughs> <laughs> my rocks are off so hard right now. I just hope the teacher doesn't call on me and make me walk up to the <laughs> chalkboard right now, because that would be a little awkward. Duh. <laughs> What's three plus two? I'll tell you from my desk. You have to use the chalk. <laughs> no, I. then I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and Kenny gave us another emoji of probably still cheese. I have no idea what that is. I wish there was magnification available. Yeah, I know. That would be that would make it so much better. Uh, dude says flaming poo poo. Is that part of the game? I have no, no, I oh no, the the emoji from Kenny. Yeah, yeah, that is either flaming poo poo or sculpted cheese or both. <laughs> <laughs> or yeah, yeah, or maybe neither. Double O Seven. How do you uh, do? You have all of them currently right now, and how do you like that? I have the PS Four, by the way. Uh, I just play this on Switch. Which actually uh, was courtesy of Kate090909, who is currently in chat. Every time we talk about the PS4 that I got, we need to address Kate because fucking awesome. She deserves eternal credit. Yeah, she got the new PS5, and she was like, I'm not really a collector, and I'm super generous and kind, so, uh, hey, Snoo, here you go. (laughs) So, she deserves, like, a medal or something. She needs... uh, more of our profits. We're going to upgrade from 70% of uh, zero dollars. To to what percentage of zero dollars? No, from 30. Oh, 270. Yeah. Oh, okay, wow. There you go. Major pay raise for Kate. I know, right? Don't spend it all in one place. <laughs> <laughs> Don't spend all of that NFT money in one place. And, uh, yeah, she might buy a, a Pokemon card for $6 million like Logan Paul. <laughs> Solid investment, bro. Jesus. He yeah. melted Game Boys into a table. He made a table out of hundreds of Game Boys. Okay, this may seem strange, but I want to ask why? Because he's a fucking dumbass? That answers my question. It's just, like, he had no reason to do it. People wanted those Game Boys, and, uh... So I don't he, know, he's he, not collecting them. He thought he would just waste some. Yeah, Completely. Meantime, you were Indiana Jones for that whole section of the game. That was amazing. I pulled a gem out of my ass. I wish I could do that. <laughs> you can, if you believe. So I should just reach around up there and... Yeah, see, I'll give see. you a reach around. Don't worry. Whoa, please. That's just, too much effort for yourself. I don't even think you understand what that is. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. <laughs> Moving on. <clears throat> <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Kate had said something not involving reach-arounds between family members. Um, Snoo, do you also want the console KFC made that warms chicken, or does that one not count? The KF console? That's literally just a PC. That is a PC. That you can warm your chicken in. You can already do that. Not really. If you really wanted to, you could set your chicken on top of a really warm PC. You could, but it wouldn't cook it or keep it warm. Yes, it would, by my logic. Okay, problem solved. I've solved world hunger. Thank you, America. And, uh... Which, by the way, Snooze 14, so that's why he doesn't know what a reach around is. 15. Um, 15, sorry. Uh, anyway, uh, Kate's very excited about her... her uh, theoretical pay raise she says yay i can do so much more with 70 percent of zero than with 30 percent of zero yeah that's just that's basic arithmetic (laughs) Uh, uh, dude says that level is sick i i assume in regard to the one where you were being indiana jones yeah yeah that's the first uh 
crash going towards the screen kind of level. You can't see what's up ahead, so it's it's fucking hard. Okay. Uh, oh. Not my personal favorite. Deadly plants. That are some of the plants. So let's see here. I think uh, I think you didn't scare 007 off with that remark, so that's good. I hope. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I probably I should know. have known what reach around you means. You should know. You should do some research. I mean, like, don't... I don't know. I don't really want to advise you to Google that, but if you're going to use it, you should. <laughs> So. <laughs> I just, you, you say shit all the time, and you know. Yep, but it doesn't involve me and you. <laughs> I know that. So. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're past this now. That topic is over. <laughs> New things. We're already, we're already demonetized, so Kate's... <laughs> Kate's seventy percent stake in this stream. Gone. Yeah, it's right down the drain. <laughs> uh, so many boxes on your head. <laughs> he gets to a certain point where he looks like he's dead after he gets hit with too many boxes. Yeah, like he he reminds me of uh, the chosen one from Kung Pao. Oh, yeah. Yeah, who was like, you know, just hit me with your sticks until I, I dramatically throw you off my body and request a towel. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, this guy is... Is this a boss? Yep, and it's easy as fuck. Cool. That's all you gotta do. He's fat guy and look at that plumber crack there. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot going on. No, oh, yeah, completely. The, the, has he ever heard of actual pants? I don't know. If he has, he's not down. It's yeah. With the pants. He doesn't conform to your societal pants. Sisterhood of the traveling butt crack. Sure. <laughs> Oh, let's see. You got you got chat there. Uh, you got dude. a smiley from Kate. No, that's a sad face. Is it a sad face? Oh yeah, yeah. probably because yeah, we've moved on. <laughs> <laughs> dude says Walmart upped its pay rate to eighty-five k for their truck driver's salary. Average weekly hours is ninety-six. Wow. Not worth it. No, nope, not at all. And like I was just watching the. Uh, uh, last week with John Oliver uh, the other day about trucks and trucking and supply lines and stuff like that and I don't know if your 96 hour weekly estimate uh, includes this or not but apparently a significant portion of the time that uh, truck drivers are working is spent waiting at loading docks uh, for the material to either be loaded or unloaded and they are not paid for those many, many hours per week. They are only paid for actually the driving time, but they must be present for the loading and unloading no matter how long it takes for that to occur. So that seems very unfair. <clears throat> I mean, 85K a year is, is a pretty nice salary, but not if you don't have any time to spend it. Yeah, like you're, you're just always doing shit. Yeah. It's just not worth it. So, uh, man, dude says, yes, same for Walmart drivers, but they are salary. Yeah, but still, it's just, it's hours you waste that, I mean, why do, why do you have to be there, you know? Just, like, park the truck, give, give somebody the damn keys, and go get a meal and some sleep. I don't know, speaking of, of, um, Let's see. Dude says, so almost better than some other jobs in that sector. Yes. Speaking of trucking, uh, when I was driving to get some carryout food the other day, I actually ran across uh, a semi truck that had uh, signs plastered all over it that said student driver. 
Oh yeah. Which made me very nervous. You told us about that. <laughs> yeah, I told I told Snoo and and my wife about that. Uh, but yeah, like I'm glad that they're training new drivers, but not in that thing. I'm gonna give that guy a, so much room. So it's a fucking semi. Yeah. I, I, I get a little nervous when I just see a student driver in, in like, a, a Civic. But, uh, yeah, the semi-truck. I don't know. Just imagine me in a six-wheeler. A six-wheeler? So, like, a, a dually pickup truck? Or? Yeah. Okay. Just, like, imagine me in any truck and be terrified. I am have imagined you in a car and I'm terrified. Have you imagined me in a little tyke scooter that you can use to... I'm fine with that. Yeah, okay. Use <laughs> that to teach me, then. Okay. He says Unimog. Dude said Unimog. I have no idea what that means. Yeah, me neither. Perhaps... <laughs> okay. Perhaps he'll elaborate. Were those skunks? What was that? Yeah, yeah skunks? Yeah. I have uh, two scientist coins and three hot bandicoot coins. Good, I assume. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see. Oh, uh, you know what? We, we did lose. Uh, we did lose 007. I think we did. Yeah, it's too bad. Maybe he followed. Yeah. Oh yeah, he followed. Really? Cool. What, yeah. You, you saw that? Yeah. He's in the one follow the stream. Yeah. Cool. Cool. I think he'll either be returning <laughs> or he'll just be a... Oh, one of these things. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, the one looks like a garbage truck. Like, what are the... Oh, that's a Unimog. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. We know what those look like now. I guess we do. Uh, Kate says, I wouldn't have wanted to learn in a semi. That wouldn't have been fun. And, uh, uh, Kate says, that link is so long, I can't tell who sent it. It was Dude. Dude. Yeah. And Kate had previous se uh, previously said, uh, I wouldn't have wanted to learn in a semi. That wouldn't have been fun. No, definitely not. That's not how I plan to teach Snoo how to drive. It's going to be in his Acura or something like that. Uh, I think it's going to be in uh, Kia? Your, yeah, your mom's Kia Soul. Because that's just a very, very basic driving experience. <laughs> For someone who isn't as good at driving as you are. Well, yeah, it's just, it's not, it's not that fast and it's, it's very easy to steer and it's just, yeah, it's, it's, it's got good visibility. I don't know. By the way, that's going to happen in August because yeah, just a couple uh, I don't think of weeks. we I don't think yeah, I don't think we've talked about it on here, but you have to be 15 years and 6 months to do it. For him to get his learner's permit. Yeah, even just to do that. And then I will put my life in Snoo's hands to be his passenger. So just remember if we don't come back, it's my fault. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> So make sure and spam Snoo with hate mail if that happens. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Dude says, no, teach the boy, stick him from the start. Or stick from the start. Stick shit. Oh, st uh, how to drive stick. Um, Would that be a wise decision? Dude, that's just not even relevant in 2022. Seriously. Isn't. Like, that's... You'd be hard-pressed to find a stick shift to buy. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know what your weird fetish for stick shift <laughs> is. But what weird fantasies you have about the fucking stick shift? I'm accepting of it, but I'm not going to pretend to understand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Uh, uh, uh. You know, I'm thinking maybe instead of 007, we lost Kenny. Maybe. That makes more sense. So hard to tell. I don't know. I mean, I, I obviously don't know 007, but Kenny's usually the one to... A boondin. So Dooge claims stick shift drivers on average get in far fewer accidents. Not less accidents, Dooge. <laughs> Come on, There's dude. difference, man. Yet more showing of his <laughs> less than stellar Twitch grammar. Anyway, what would what would be your explanation for that? If if in fact that is accurate. Oh fuck. Uh, 
wow, you were <laughs> brutally murdered. That was, wow. Uh, yeah, these are fucking spike posts. I'm riding an animal next to spike posts, which I, could kill me. I, I just can't imagine that needing to screw around with a manual tran uh, transmission would help you avoid an accident when it's just one more thing you've got to screw with to not crash. Instead of just hitting the brake, you get you you know either got to downshift or take the car out of gear and and hit the brake. So it's just one more step that that doesn't make sense to me. I feel like I would be a safer driver in an automatic. It just seems like you have to worry about so much less. What was that animal that's on a spit? Is that another warthog? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> There's a lot of different animals and animals being skewered in this game. No wonder that warthog you were riding was so eager to get out of there. <laughs> <laughs> but he's running towards the spikes. Hey, you only got hit with three boxes that time. That was pretty good. That's a record. I feel so much better. Um, dude says manual cars handle far better in the snow. That's one season. Um, probably in general, I guess that makes sense. And rain, he says. Um, why would that make a difference in rain? Um, I don't know. I guess what I would say is, like, my Acura TL has both automatic and sort of, like, fake manual uh, where you can you can you can manually shift it if you want to, um, but I don't really know how particularly that would come in handy. Maybe Dude can elaborate. Dude's just saying a lot of stuff. Well, I don't doubt him. I just I would like to know why he says what he's saying, <laughs> and he can probably tell me. So. Anyway, I'm a bandicoot. And this is a nifty looking game. Wearing pants. Pants de coot. Yeah, I, I don't even think that's necessary. It really isn't, but I like it, so it stays. I, yeah, I mean, I respect the choice. <laughs> Who makes pants for bandicoots? I'm probably more comfortable that that bandicoot is wearing pants. I Yeah, I don't think you want to know what it looks like. Where the, not just the wood plank, but the wood is showing. So what? what's following you? A that, mask? That is a mask named Aku Aku. A mask with a name? Yeah. Huh, all right. Basically, he gives you an extra hit uh, before you die. So. Uh, why did you murder a monkey? He was in my way. All right. I'm trying to get to a mad scientist. I can't have monkeys in my way. Fair enough. Meantime, still waiting on Dooge's explanation why uh, a manual transmission is safer in snow and rain. Hopefully that's forthcoming. I think it's probably just taking a while to type it. That, yeah, maybe. I'm genuinely curious, though. It's a long and complicated explanation. Yeah, I mean, I'm not messing with him. I, I'm curious about the rationale there. Piranhas, turtles, all that jazz. Warthogs. <laughs> Fireplates. On spits and otherwise. Tribal men. With hair? Shields. Or a helmet. What's he got? That's to... hair. It's hair, okay. I know. It looks like a helmet. All right, Dude's response is in. It says, in an auto, you can not you that could God. No. <laughs> All right, thank you. Dude followed up on his own with that is not English. <laughs> because, yeah, that was like... <laughs> that was like Dude was having a stroke. Let me Maybe see he is. Let me see if I can sort through this here for the, <laughs> the kernels of, of what he was, was going for. I just read it. Yeah, yeah. Let, first of all, let me just read it verbatim so, so everyone can enjoy it. In and auto... <laughs> You cannot use the engine to slow you down. Electric cars and manual transmission cars both decelerate the car quickly and smoothly the same way. Smoothly. 
Oh yeah, that was Smothley. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. yeah so. All right. So I assume you're just referring to downshifting. Would that be correct? Yeah. I mean, it's another it's another alternative method of braking that a manual transition does offer. Uh, so that makes sense if that's what he was getting at there. Transmissoin. <laughs> that was that that is like that belongs in the dude post hall of fame <laughs> there are not many posts that get to be there and he clarifies yes the the engine braking and regenerative braking uh, which is basically just downshifting so yeah but anyway as i had mentioned my technically automatic transmission car can also do that it's although the the fake uh, manual on my car is not super aggressive on the downshifting uh it's just you tell it to do it and if it's all right with that it will um, he says it cannot <laughs> uh possibly referring to my car sometimes it will sometimes it won't like i said it's a little picky it, it's not as cut and dry as an actual manual it, it will not um it will not downshift first unless it's good and happy with that decision and you're going like you know 15 miles an hour or something but uh dropping down to second um uh, or third is no big deal Why are you abusing this tortoise? Because <laughs> it's fun. So this is just the equivalent of uh, Super Mario 3D World where you bounce on a toad's head? Oh yeah, pretty much. Fair enough. I'm going to notify PETA about Snoo's tendency to be abusive towards animals. I... And plants. <laughs> and now these guys. And indigenous peoples. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just the worst person. Snoo is a monster. <laughs> so, uh, let's see here. Kate says she's back from lurking. Sorry, y'all. Rough couple of days. I'll be fine. I just was sad and stepped away. Oh, no. I'm very sorry that you were sad and, and about a rough couple of days because we've certainly all been there. That's basically been my last week. Yeah, I know. Me too, kind of. But tonight's a good night. Yeah, tonight's the celebration e where I'm abusing turtles. Yeah, so hopefully hanging out with some good friends uh, will help um, cheer Kate up and stuff. Yeah. Tomorrow, yeah. Kate, I think we will watch Darman because I, I definitely assume that will cheer you up. Watch what? Darman. D-H-A-R-M-A-N-N. -N. I thought you wanted to stream tomorrow. Before the stream. Oh, okay. That's cool. Uh, meantime, Dooge had said... Well, well, first of all, Kate, why were you sad? Because yeah. Sn Snoo made an inappropriate reach-around joke. <laughs> <laughs> if that's fine, I'll report myself to HR, which we totally have. And uh, Dooge said, the manual thing your car can do, meaning mine... Uh, is still driven through a forward driver torque converter. Um, that doesn't mean when I downshift, it doesn't slow the car down. I, d I don't honestly know what specifically that means that you said. But, um, no, I mean, it can help decelerate the car through engine braking or whatever. As far as I know, it makes the car go slower. That's what I know. So. <laughs> it's like saying you're not listening to the actual music because it's not on vinyl. <laughs> How so? <laughs> it's the same fucking thing. I don't understand. It's the same the... action. What is the parallel? It, it's about decelerating the car. The music is the exact same. Okay. Oh, you're an angel bandicoot. That's what happens when bandicoots die. It's like that Disney movie, All Bandicoots Go to Heaven. Seems like an upgrade, though. It Yeah, it kind of is. You could just fly right through there. Oh, but why would I? I just jumped on spikes and didn't die. Hmm. Wish I could do that. <laughs> oh, 
He has a new response. So what was the significance of the apple? Oh, those are wumpa fruit, which are a made-up kind of fruit that are kind of a mix of an orange and an apple. And what is this, the significance, as I previously inquired? They pretty much just act as rings, but without any health abilities. Oh, okay. Oh! Your crotch was incinerated there. <laughs> that was... Wow. You're good at noticing things. Yeah, that's uh, unfortunate. <laughs> no grandkids for me. <laughs> if I'm willing... If I'm that willing to jump into fire, is it really that much of a loss? <laughs> like, I'm literally just on the show Jackass. I, I guess I can't uh, dispute that. You've got a point. Uh, let's see here. Dude says, it's like when you decelerate with the engine, your transmission slips and doesn't run the transmission at a one-to-one -one ratio. Okay. Does make the car go slower, though. <laughs> <laughs> so, it does the exact same thing. <laughs> it's a, well, it sounds like it's not the exact same thing, but it's a very similar thing. But of course it's not, because it's not manual, but that doesn't mean it has to be. I don't know. Look, this is Dooge's ex expertise, not mine. I'm not a car guy. I just drive <laughs> my car. <laughs> Which is its intended purpose. <laughs> and uh, when, it, when I downshift, it goes slower. <laughs> so... <laughs> This has been my essay <laughs> on automobile mechanics. If you liked it, rate five stars. Merriam-Webster's Dictionary, Dictionary defines, defines transmission. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Kit says, chat hugs for a snoo is done with school stuff celebration. And yes, Snoo, I am down for Darman. And lol, not sad due to the stream. Well, that's good. That's good. Well, then stick stick with the stream, and hopefully we'll make you happy. Watch me continually get burned in the crotch as the stream grows longer and longer. Yeah. <laughs> and why is that grass so slippery? That's... Because it is. That's broken physics there, because... Well, it's a slippery slope, da. Oh, well, oh. <laughs> I'm on board then. <laughs> I believe in all kinds of slippery slopes. Like, <laughs> if gay people get married, then other people will marry sheep. Sheep and dogs. And doorknobs. <laughs> Where does it end? <laughs> if people start marrying other gay people, they're going to fuck the world. <laughs> I'm going to marry my pants. <laughs> <laughs> I already come in them twice a day. Oh, God. Snoo always has to take it to a... Uh, says the guy who makes a reach-around joke every other stream. <laughs> I, know, I know when to make them. That, Still, though. That is the difference. <laughs> oh, man. It's all fine. All right, so let's see here. D uh, let's see. Dude had said it's a feel thing, and then he says, so you can drive anything, motorcycle, forklift, farm tractor. <laughs> I used to play bass for motorcycle, farm lift, forklift. <laughs> Class eight, 8 truck, Model T. Okay, so you might need a little coaching, but if you master a manual transmission and a clutch pedal in your daily f driving... You're infinitely better prepared to drive nearly anything with an internal combustion engine and tires. Okay, but... <laughs> dude... Um, actually... Dude, let's put this in context. <laughs> Let me count on the fingers of no hands the number of times that I have had to drive a forklift, a farm tractor, a Class 8 truck... Or a Model T. <laughs> That's fucking zero, bro. That's none. That's fucking zero, bro. Ever. <laughs> and yes, I had a couple of motorcycles, but that's not even... It doesn't even work the same. Let me, account, let me count on my imaginary third nipple <laughs> how many times I've had to do this. Um, actually, zero. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, there, there's nothing wrong with being able to drive stick shift or a motorcycle, which I can do both, but I just... just like, dude, it's not that important. I don't care to do so. So... <laughs> Meantime, Kate says, I married my doorknob, though. We are very happy together, thank you. <laughs> so, yeah, right on. You know, you you meet a good doorknob, it, it really, really puts the world back on its axis. But, you know, to really spice up that marriage, have a threesome with the lamp. Why not? It's, you know, it's simple enough. Everyone's doing it. <laughs> The doorknob can give the lamp a reach around. We're, just, <laughs> we're not going to be able to get away from this, so I'm just, I'm just going to lean in at this point. Please do. I'm just going to lean in. <laughs> this is our stream now. I love uh, it. Yeah, we're going to have to revise the title. <laughs> Snoo and Ta talk about... Reach around Palooza. <laughs> reach around Palooza. <laughs> <laughs> it's a convention for sex offenders. Pretty much. Well, at least that could uh, increase our viewership. You know, we're, we're not too proud. Uh, and we got a weasel out of Kate, which is nice. Yeah. I'm glad we're getting weasels out of Kate. I, I think improving her mood is my number one goal today. Yeah. And making sure that Levi gets a good nap, too. That I mean, that's the second priority after cheering up Kate, but also yeah. important. Yeah, I mean, Levi is either on the same level or a little bit lower than Kate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I... I love Levi, but I think I'm Team Kate there. So... <laughs> I mean, I can't say that Kate's a good boy like Levi, but <laughs> she, she's pretty damn cool, though. So, <laughs> I mean, Levi gave me PS3, so. And, and like, <laughs> do you send Levi human status and cheat? <laughs> <laughs> and, and I think that, that, you know, if Kate ever showed up for a fire pit, uh, my ice budget would probably be lower <laughs> than when Levi does. Cause he gets he gets his own bag of ice and his own cooler to keep it in, so he can eat it whenever he wants. I don't know, you up for some ice? <laughs> yeah, I mean, like you if, ready for the Levi delicacy? If you did show up and you said you wanted some, we'd get you some ice. <laughs> <laughs> it would also be our number one priority. <laughs> um, Kate says, "Chat hugs for Snoo. Thank you. That really means a lot." And uh, Levi is probably way more awesome than I am. And she says, because I do not eat ice out of coolers. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, though? You could learn. Yeah, I mean... Uh, uh, we believe in you. Snooze Belchy, because he's been drinking. <laughs> and dude says his uh, adorable daughter likes ice, too. So do we need, like, a third bag of ice and a third cooler if you bring her and Levi at the same time? Just get five buckets of ice to be safe. Yeah. I'm not even going to buy firewood. I'm just going to stock up on bags of ice. <laughs> we can burn that. <laughs> There's a lot of ethanol in there. Eh, you put enough kerosene on it. <laughs> It'll burn just fine. <laughs> 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 That's what my grandfather told me after he burned down the bank. <laughs> right. It was a bank made of ice. <laughs> so <laughs> that's how we know. <laughs> it worked like a jaw. Yep. Oh, God damn it. Edith, you can't <laughs> live in a candy house. I kind of never ran. <laughs> I implore you to reconsider that thought. Okay. <laughs> no, please stop. I have a wound there. No, this is actually good for both of us. <laughs> no. Oh, oh. Uh, for 
anyone who hasn't seen the, <laughs> transition so the, the cinematic classic Kung Pao Enter the Fist. Uh, <laughs> Which Dowry watched the that, other day. That should be enough to convince you that you should. That, yeah, that is... I guess I would have to say at least an 8 out of 10 movie because there, there are a lot of like random equals funny things in it, but when it gets good, it gets good. Yeah, I mean, there's some that are just stupid, but it's it's fun stupid. <laughs> it's fun stupid, yeah. It, it's yeah. never taking itself seriously. Not by a long stretch. That's the point. Yeah. yeah. The evil counts here. <laughs> <laughs> I... <laughs> I remember when he told me of the significance. <laughs> it will be significant. significant. <laughs> his music about big butts. Yes. Beware of his song about big butts. He <laughs> beats you up when he plays it. <laughs> <laughs> Beware of evil Betty. <laughs> All right, catching up with Chad. Stop referencing a movie. That yeah, pr- uh, I know dude just seen it, but I don't yeah. know if Kate or any other viewers have. Kate oh, is we're, not. yeah, we are we are down to just Dooge and Kate now too. Yeah. <laughs> we lost Kenny and we lost 007, so screw those guys. Uh, uh Dooge points out that Arya prefers snow over actual ice. Well, then we'll get her a bucket of snow. Yeah. I'm sure that's available for sale around here somewhere. It's Ohio. We have everything. That's true. It's free. (laughs) You can pick it up off the ground. (laughs) If Kate wants some, she'll have to get us to FedEx it to her. (laughs) (laughs) And it'll still be snow by the time it gets there. That's That's what I figure. Yeah. Is there any reason to suspect that's not the case? Regular or yellow variety? Stay away from the yellow snow and the brown acid. That's my advice. I I think the yellow snow adds a lot of flavor. Personally, I'm biased to it. I assume that's a a lemon Italian ice when I see that. Uh, Let's see here. Kate says, I'll bring a 10-gallon hat and eat my ice out of that. That's perfect. I wish I had a 10-gallon hat. It, it's Ohio. We have everything. And Dooge agrees that Kung Pao Enter the Fist is a solid movie. We've talked about that with Dooge before uh, during Fire Pits. Yeah. We all appreciate it. Oh, wow. What a sexy bandicoot that was. <laughs> I just, you know. She keeps popping up in this game. I feel like she's into me. <laughs> I'll be in my chambers if you need me. I mean, she was giving me the eye there, right? Am I crazy? <laughs> Her midsection just stared at me. Yeah, absolutely. So let's see. Kate says it's basically summer here, so I'm sure the snow will be intact until I finish eating it. <laughs> You know, they're going to be counting on you the next time the power grid goes down during a storm. <laughs> they'll, they'll just point the Kate signal at the clouds and let, yeah, let you know it's time to start eating all the snow. <laughs> what does that do? <laughs> it just lets her know it's time to it's... eat all the snow. Don't worry about the power or anything. Yeah. She could be like the snow equivalent of Sludgy the Possum. <laughs> she sees snow? Yeah. Boom, it's gone. What does Kate really bring to the team? Uh, she eats snow. <laughs> <laughs> does she ever? <laughs> she sees snow. snow. Boom, Boom, it's, it's gone. gone. <laughs> We've never fucking watched that video on Snoo and Don. No one knows what we're talking about. Okay, well, tough luck for them. It's, a uh, so back when I regularly watched... Sonic stuff on YouTube. I do it a lot more infrequently now. Uh, but back when I regularly did that, I found a lot of Sonic animations. And one of them was about a rejected Sonic team member named Sludgy the Possum, who 
whose only function was to eat trash. Yeah, but he was on Team Sonic with Knuckles and Tails and Miles Prower. He was very helpful. Yeah. And then then Knuckles talked uh, Sonic into kicking Sludgy off the team. And then they all got captured and they were going to be drowned in trash. And Sludgy showed up and they were like, Cool, Sludgy, now you can help us. <coughs> and, and he just walked away <laughs> angrily. <laughs> Left them to their doom. And as far as I know, that is one of Da's favorite YouTube videos ever. It's very entertaining. I really like it, and I'm glad that you found it super funny. Yeah, everyone should check that out. <laughs> and we got a weasel out of Kate. And she says, Da, well, I love your plan. I feel like it's too green for Greg Abbott. Yeah, that's probably right. Uh, I assume eating snow, like using wind turbines, causes cancer. <laughs> so It causes cancer by doing nothing. Yep. So, Snu, what size TNT do you suppose is in those boxes? Medium. Yeah, that's that was my impression. Medium-sized tit. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's a... A box full of big taints. <laughs> <laughs> it could be. <laughs> big severed taint? It's just, an, you know, I assume that's an abbreviation. <laughs> or they hired Dooge as their writer. <laughs> and that's how he spells taint. And Mommy was also not hired to edit. Right, exactly. <laughs> so... Who, who's this derpy guy in a straight jacket? Uh, an insane criminal uh, marsupial. Yeah. Does, does said insane marsupial have a name? Ripperoo. Ripperoo. Which sounds like something Scooby Doo would say. <laughs> but he Scooby doesn't. Scooby Doo. <laughs> okay. They call him Scooby Doo, but. Scooby don't. <laughs> Scooby doesn't, doesn't do. do. Okay? The show should be called Velma. Velma. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what does Fred do? All he does is drive. He is the driver. He doesn't solve the mysteries. <laughs> Which, by the way, he doesn't even own the fucking mystery machine. Who does? Fred. Or not fresh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's very confusing. Shaggy. Shaggy does? Shaggy owns the mystery machine. Because his parents are wealthy. Really? Yeah. That's in the lore canon. That's like um, in Big Hero 6, where TJ Miller's parents were like obscenely Stan wealthy. Lee, pretty much. But like wealthy. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. Interesting. I, I was unaware of, of who holds the title for the mystery machine. Since watching a very specific video on why Fred is the best character in that entire series, I've learned a little bit. Well, because cause Fred's the Chad. True. Yeah. Thank you for using that very adult term. You're, you're welcome. <laughs> and Daphne would be the, what, what's the um, equivalent of a Chad? You should know this. <laughs> Why are you assuming that I know this? Because people your age say things like that? <laughs> I don't know. There's, do I have to Google the, the female equivalent of a Chad? Uh, the closest term that comes to my mind is e-girl. I don't think that's what I was thinking of. Okay. Let's see here. Can anyone help, please? Oh, Stacy. Is that it? I, I don't know. That does remind me of a term that I have heard at some point. Let's see here. Yeah, they got Stacy or Trixie on, on, on Google here. Trixie. So now we're resorting to names of porn stars. Yeah, I don't know. I've, I've, never, <laughs> I've never heard the Trixie one. I don't know if I've heard the uh, Stacy one. Oh, there's also an entry for Chadette, which I definitely Chad definitely have not heard that one. 
Uh, so, yep, we're going to go with Snooze uh, Stacy on this one. Thanks to Kate. Oh, was that thanks to Kate? That was thanks to Kate. Oh, all right. Th- thank you, Kate. And <laughs> and not Snoo. I withdraw my thanks to Snoo. <laughs> <laughs> and give him a very pleasant fuck you. <laughs> And did you cover that Kate said, why is it so fucking funny that a box labeled Big Taint explodes when jumped on? (laughs) (laughs) You're right. (laughs) That is good entertainment. Okay, he's in a diamond pattern. Rip-a-roo. Rip-a-roo. So how is he a threat if he's in a straight jacket? He causes me to blow up. Why, why don't you just kick his ass? He's in a straight jacket. I, I'm a bandicoot. I don't think it's that simple. But you have free use of your arms. That seems like an advantage. But I'm a bandicoot. You also don't have a pouch where you could nurse your young, like marsupials, such as Ripperoo. Because Ripperoo is cool. Wait, is it Ripperoo or Ripperool? Ripperoo. It, oh. it says it at the top. I just said Ripperoo. I know, that's, for why, some reason. that's why I was confused. Yeah. <laughs> I, just, I was just rereading Kate's taint comment. It was a good one. It was very funny. That should go next to Dooge's, uh unintelligible chat. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Snoo's about to beat this the, For as good as this game is The perception of 3D is shit Oh yeah? It's awful Well that's unfortunate Yeah It does look cool though It looks super cool If we played this on PS5 or something It would look probably 4K Yeah it's too bad this isn't a PC version So we could upscale it I think there is a PC version. Oh. But. Still, this is 1080, though, right? Yeah, this is a really good 1080. Like, not on stream, though. It's 720. Yeah. Finally! Screw Jesus. you guys. <laughs> you get a lower resolution, and you'll like it. You get 640p and not as good capture. Uh, Kate says, Kate's taint comment is a series of words I'm very happy applies to me. (laughs) It sure does. That's how I always think of you. And she says, I don't know what that says about me. It says that you have class. Only good things. Yeah, only, only good things. All right, Snoo, I think we should wrap up. Can we do this last level? How long is it going to take? Like a million attempts? I'm going to see what type of level it is. Honestly, can we just, can we just, and then we'll stream again tomorrow night, and I won't be streamed out. Okay. Thank you. This is the level that I keep dying on. Kenny's here! <laughs> oh, no. Jesus, come on. Kenny says no! You weren't here for like 50% of it. <laughs> yeah. How is, is... He's like lurking then, because we only have three viewers, one of whom is us. So... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, Kenny, we will be back again tomorrow night. But, yeah. Um, My wife is a little restless upstairs tonight, and I would like to give her a chance to get some good sleep. And I'm kind of hungry. I I think I am too, but maybe it's more thirsty. But I'm glad you were here. That's awesome. Yeah. We celebrate that. I'm sad that Twitch doesn't count lurkers as actual chatters anymore. But um, definitely stop back tomorrow night, though, because we'll we'll be doing a movie, which, again, is kind of our sweet spot. It's, well, yeah. Yeah. I to me it is, it's fine. I I consider both. They're both quality. Tune in for all of our streams. <laughs> yeah, how about you just do that? But uh, anyway, thank you to Kate and uh, Dooge and Kenny and also at least briefly 007. Yeah. It's very mysterious. Probably a spy. But uh, yeah, that was some good chill fun. Uh, to end the stream off. And first, let me call for final thoughts if anyone cares to share them. Thanks to Da's father, um, just out of random cleaning curiosity of the other house that we sometimes go to. 
Um, My parents' old house. Yeah. Uh, we found, or he found, more, rather, uh, an old... Is this a football trading card? It's it's a Walter Payton uh, football card. Yeah. So from like, what is it, 1986? 76. Oh, 76. Yeah. Oh, holy crap. NFC All Pro. Yeah, so it's not a rookie card, and it's in eh condition. Eh. But yeah, I remember it was either mine or my brother's when we were kids. We used to buy the tops sports cards. So, I don't know. It's a thing people did. I'm not going to keep it. I'm just, there's, like a, there's like a sports cards uh, shop somewhere around here. I don't care if they give me 20 bucks for it. It's 20 bucks I don't have now. 20 bucks? I don't know. They might not even offer that. I, don't, I have no fucking idea. I'll look at eBay before I go. 20 bucks seems like a lot for even just a middle-of-the-road card. <laughs> It just depends. I have no frame of reference. I don't collect them uh, yeah. and haven't for 40 years. So, I don't know. And I, and I, you know, it wasn't really a, it wasn't really a commodity back then. Like the, the obscene prices that people pay for sports cards now. There were a few rare examples, but not many. Like back in the day when I was, you know, snooze age or a little bit younger, like, if you had, like, a Ted Williams rookie card or something, then, yeah, you had, that was some money. But now it's just, like, any old thing is worth money. So, I don't know. I'll see if they want to give me a couple bucks for it. I don't care. Anybody want to make me an offer? <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to bid da for this uh, 46-year-old card? There you go. It could be yours. <laughs> In shitty quality. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to auction off my, my, uh, what is it? Oh, I was trying to think of what Poke uh, Pikachu is part of. Pokemon. Yeah. Because you have an extensive Pokemon card collection. I just, yeah, that's a joke, but <laughs> I read an article that Logan Paul wore a $6 million Pokemon card to WrestleMania. Every time I think he's <clears throat> hit his most pretentious, he goes ten times above it. I just want to say that contains so many elements of our culture that I absolutely despise. Yeah. It has Logan Paul. It has Pokemon. It has ridiculous expenditures of unnecessary wealth. Ultra consumerism, just to show off. And it has professional wrestling. It's just like... Everything wrong. <laughs> it's the cocktail of just America's cultural decline. Yeah. So... <laughs> I knew it would start with one of the Paul brothers. Oh god damn it, it's a bot. Oh we got Captain it. Scroto. That's not a bot, it's a new viewer who really <laughs> likes our material. <laughs> uh, he he yeah. So anyway, we're just standing by now for Kate's final thoughts, which are incoming. Then I'm going to spend the rest of the night playing Path of Exile. With Dooge. I guess if I were going to play Path of Exile, I would be wise to play with Dooge. Yeah, I mean, going through a YouTube tutorial probably wouldn't be amazing. But again, he said that he hasn't played it in months. Um, that's a lie, because I was watching last night, and he was playing... He played, I think it said six hours <laughs> of Path of Exile Dude, yesterday. you fucking liar. <laughs> And I like kept checking back because I wanted I was playing some Rocket League, and uh, I kept checking back on Discord, and he was just like, "Dude's playing Path of Exile. Dude's playing Path of Exile." Fucking I'm just like, liar. Fine. And then like finally I checked back, and he had signed off, and it gave me his total number of hours for the day, which was <laughs> which was six plus. So. Dude. <laughs> which means that he is very dedicated to his craft. Kate said, I wrote and then redacted a bunch of stuff that I decided is better for a Reddit. Just thanks for the lulls in the company, y'all. Yeah, that's all All the final thoughts we need. And that means we can have a Reddit for tomorrow. Um, Hopefully. I have final thoughts. This was fun. This was super fun. Yeah. I'm glad that we got to celebrate things. Me and Snoo and, and also his mom, my wife, uh, all had kind of busy days running around doing stuff and... 
and uh, we weren't too tired to come down here to the state of the art studio and have some fun with friends. But today was one of the first days in a while where all of us were busy off doing stuff. I didn't even see him until like 8 p.m. It's true. But anyway, good times. Yeah. So this has been, I don't know, is it part one? Or is it sure. a standalone part one of uh, Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy? Insane Trilogy. So this has been Snoo and Da Live. He's been Snoo. And this guy over here has been Da. That's correct. Good night, everybody.